everybody, Anya here at Our Gabled Home. With Valentine's Day coming up, you might be wondering what kind of project you could do. Either you want to send a card to somebody or maybe you have kids that need a little project for their school. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple pressed flower card. I went ahead and pressed some flowers. Now you can do this several different ways. You can either put them in a flower press, which is something that I had. It's a neat flower press that my kids actually made for me one year. Or you can, that's a traditional method, you can press them in a book and then just make sure that you put another whole stack of books on top of it to weight it down. And you can use an iron, which I'll be showing in a moment. Um, the best flowers to press are violets, single petal roses, and daisies but any flowers really work some will be a little thicker but that can also add to the charm of your homemade card and I think that nothing says Valentine's Day like flowers so let me show you how we're gonna make the card so if you're watching this video this is already the beginning of February and you only have um, two weeks at the most to make this card and I had already pressed these flowers um, I had pressed some with my um, with my flower press the, these ones are a little bit thinner and then these ones are a little bit thicker I used them in my or I had them in my book now to speed this process up um, I'm gonna iron them I want to show you how I do that I have my iron set to the wool silk setting I have it between two pieces of paper and I'm just gonna press on here for about 10-15 seconds. I have some over here. I will press them for 10-15 seconds while the ones under here are cooling down and then I'll just repeat this process until I'm happy with the result and the flowers feel really dry to the touch. Obviously when you do that make sure you're not putting it on steam. We're trying to get the moisture out of the flower so steam will be adding moisture to the flowers and that's exactly the opposite of what we want. All you need for this project is um, scissors, some glue, I have a big envelope here that I've already decided I would like to use. I have different colors of um, cardstock. Um, I'm going to decide which one I'm going to use um, based on the flowers that I have. And then some of these doilies, they um, often come in assorted sizes. I'm going to go for the smallest one because that will fit right on my card. Now, I've pressed my flowers to the point where I like them. I will actually set them aside for now. And since I know that this is the size of my envelope, I am folding my cards in half and measuring the outline of the envelope so that the card fits inside. I'm just going to cut down here. And because I'm going to make two cards, I'm going to do the same with my other card. Now I have my two cards here and I will put the doily on the front of the card. Now oftentimes it's actually nice if you don't have it right in the middle but actually just a little bit off center that always looks a little bit better to the eye. And I'm going to just glue the doily to the card. So I'm just putting a lot of this is disappearing glue. So it doesn't matter that that's there. I'm going to put that right here and repeat the same for my second card since I'm making two. Okay. So I have that. Now I'll take my flowers and 
you could just put this one right in there. You could do this one right here. Obviously, that's a lighter pink and that's a darker pink. And then I've got these little roses that lost their color a little bit, so they might work well with this card right here. You always pick the nicest ones. You can also pick two, which is what I'm going to do for this one. There's a little leaf that I will just snip off. So this one could have two and this one could have one. You can leave the stem on there if you like. For this card, I'm going to cut the stem off. Put the glue on my pressed flower and put that in there, press that in. And And here are your two simple Valentine's cards with pressed flowers. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, which is actually a collaboration with some of my blogging friends. So please go to my blog, OurGabledHome.com, and check out their projects to see what other ideas they have for Valentine's Day. And also, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new content every week and thank you for watching. See you soon.